Hey, what's up everybody? I've been working on this uh, engine a lot the past few days. So there's a few things I've added. I added an FPS counter at the top. I added a little login screen and this like set up the camera for when you're not logged in. So when you hit connect, it logs in and the server just got a new connection. Then you can move around. You see, I have this uh, character controller now. And for the terrain, I fixed a bug where one of some of the triangles were not being properly generated. You wouldn't have been able to really see it in the last video unless you're looking really closely, but the positive X plane was kind of missing a strip. Um, I also, I just put in some math random to change the height a little bit on one side. It's not a, not anything like Perlin noise. It's not like anything interesting, but it's just so I could get some, you know, change in the terrain. I, uh, added in so first let's look at it let's say that the server closes and you lose connection it takes you back to that login screen and if you try to connect it'll say connecting and it's asynchronous so it's not blocking or anything you know if i wanted to type stuff in while it's connecting uh and then you get a message if you fail to connect so let me start the server back up and now the server is back open so i connect with my first user i'm gonna look this way move this window over a little bit and then I'll connect with the second user. See him fall down from the sky. And they can move around. They can, uh, you know, push each other. And, uh, yeah, it's going a little bit smoother than I thought it was going to go. I, uh, I'm still using TCP connections. And it's not an issue so far just because everything's on the same computer. So I'm not really sure how it would work remote. I'm going to try and get some people a little further away to test it. Maybe put up a video of that. Uh, because at some point I need to switch to UDP. And so far, I'm thinking the next thing I'm going to do is I'm probably going to try and add vehicles. But I, I know that's going to be a lot more work than just adding a player character controller. So we'll see what that's like. Uh, yeah, that's all I really got for this video. The last thing I have is... When a user disconnects, they uh, disappear from the world. So I'm just going to close one. And you see it's gone from the world. And yeah, that's all I've got for this video. And thanks for watching.